What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku, and today I'm with Chef Richard. You guys might have seen him in another video of mine where we caught some uni and we made two separate dishes. I made a Japanese style uni dish and Chef Richard, he made a French style uni dish. Uh, so today we're actually gonna collaborate on a, one dish, on a single dish uh, to make something really epic. Uh, what I have in mind is gonna be pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. First, we're going to try to catch some crabs. Then later on, there's going to be a nice low tide, a negative 0.5. So we're going to go out to the coast, try to get some mussels, uni, and whatever else we can find. All right. And I'm also with Jocelyn, of course, and she's going to be helping us today too, getting some clams. All right, guys, let's do this. So we're at the jetty now. See if we can catch, catch a couple here. Ah, uh, nothing. You haven't touched it. That was like more than 10 minutes, huh? Got to cast in a different direction. That one? Yeah, I can't get that one. Yeah, Small, too. undersized and it's a pregnant lady. Yeah. Yeah, the bait works, huh? Yeah, marinated pork. This is a female uh, Dungeness crab with a bunch of eggs. They can carry about f a half a million eggs on there. So that's gonna be a lot of babies. Here you go, sir. Let's, yeah, go for it. One sort of small rock crab. Yeah, almost five. Close to five inches. We'll keep it for now, since it's only the only one we have. It's been uh, almost an hour, um, but we gotta go soon because we gotta start clamming and we gotta catch the low tide. So Jocelyn and Richard are gonna start clamming here. Trying to look for some steamer clams, and uh, I'm gonna go run to the store get some firewood for tonight since we're camping. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get another shovel so we don't have to fight over the. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's more about like making the hole wider than deeper. And if you don't see anything um, pretty early on, you can just refill it. Yeah. Because usually once you find one clam, you'll find a lot of them. Yeah. And as you can see, Jocelyn found a few clams, but they go right through this hole. And the hole is an inch and a half big, which is the minimum size limit for these clams. And she's gonna fill her hole right back up. I usually fill it for her, but since I'm not there, she'll fill her own hole, as you should as well. And you can see this one, boom, doesn't fit through. That's a keeper. All right, I'm back. I'm back and I got my weapon of choice. Yeah, nice man, good work. That was fast, I was only gone like 15 minutes. Let me check right here. Ah, first one. Oh, another one. Yeah, that's keeper. Oh, I think there's another one right there. Yeah. What's up now, Jocelyn? I got a bunch. No, I got four. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, there it is. There it is. All legal size, too. All right, let's check the size on these. Boom, keeper. Boom. Mm, good. 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 Oh, yeah. All of them, eight for eight. Look what I gave him. I gave him a... That's a tool. Yep. <laughs> Dive bar. So that works well for clamming. I <laughs> just found out. Yeah, just put them back. Yeah. And then, yeah, fill your holes. That's it. Okay. Cool. So we got 30 minutes and then we'll go get out to the coast. Okay. 30 minutes, Jocelyn. I gotta go measure Jocelyn's hole. Oh, look at that. They don't call me Clammy Gonzalez for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> clammy Gonzalez. Just kidding. She's got clammy hands. <laughs> she does have clammy hands. Check out your hole. Ooh, that's nice for sure. Good. Wow, wow, wow. Good. Good. Looking good. Nice. Jeez. Wow. Always killing it with the clams. She got about 20 while I got two. It's impressive. Are you gonna put these back? These 
guys will go back. Just go late. Let's see how many we got here. Yeah, that's good. We didn't even need 30 minutes. Let's move on. Let's get this is successful. Let's move on to the uni and muscle. Wow, good job, Justin. Well, with you, we only needed 10 more minutes. Let's get going. I'm busy today. Gotta move, move, move. So we don't have too much time. It's about 3.30 right now. Sunset's about 5. So racing against the clock. We gotta get some muscles. And we're also looking for some uni too. And whatever else we can find. Hopefully some crabs. These rocks are covered in mussels. So here Richard is going to harvest the mussels while I go look for some uni. And make sure to call the biotoxin hotline before you harvest any mussels every time. And the California regulations for mussels is a 10 pound bag limit per person per day. And you must carry a scale on you. I'm gonna go check for some uni over here. I totally thought there would be some uni here, but it's all muscle. Whew, all right, well, I think Richard's got enough muscle, so uh, let's go look for some more uni. Yo, check this out. Check out my new shoes. So I got these shoes. I got these shoes from Japan. It's felt underneath, and actually, it's so you don't slip on these rocks. This is why everybody wears in Japan, fishing on the rocks, slippery rocks and stuff. Felt under, and there's little tiny metal spikes on there. It's hard to see, but there it is. Well, these are pretty cool. I can like run on these rocks without slipping. Got enough? Let's go, new spot. Yeah. Now we're driving to a spot where I know for sure there's sea urchin, but it's a bit of a drive. So like I said before, it's a race against time. We still got another hour of sunlight left. All right, the uni is just right over here. Wait for it. Look, you don't think there's anything here until the waves go out. And god damn, look how much uni there is. All over this rock. Oh, there's some little ones there. Bigger ones are out this way. Let me grab some of these big ones here. And these are much easier to grab. We're going to have to check the yield first. It's it's decent, but look. Melting? Yeah, look how... Look at all that. It's melting a lot. Yeah, it's like peak spawning season now. Alright, let me taste this one. Tastes good. Hey, these grippy shoes are pretty good. The limit for purple urchin is 35 per day. Unless you're diving, that's free diving or scuba diving in Sonoma County to Humboldt County. The limit is 40 gallons. Uni, easy. Got it done fast. Now I want more crab. See if I can find one. Oh yeah, you got some nice yeah. ones. I'm gonna go look over here for yeah. some uh, crabs. Oh, nice abalone. One, two, two abalone. Another abalone right there, three. I need crab. That's a pretty big abalone shell. That's about 11 inches. I can't find any crabs, so I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna clean these uh, mussels now. So they have a lot of uh, hair and barnacles on them. Pretty much barnacle free after that. Looks really nice. Woo! Good job, man. Thanks, man. You too. Ah, oh, we got it done. So we got one keeper rock crab today, about 30 to 40 clams, 30 to 40 mussels, and 30 to 40 sea urchins as well. So that is four species right there. And we have some turbine snails mixed up in there. So five species. That's a good haul for a day. 
It's getting dark, so we can't cook this tonight since I want you guys to be able to see. So we'll cook this tomorrow morning. All right, and then we're gonna do a little collaboration on one dish, on a single dish this time. And it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be epic. It's, I can't wait to see it myself. So Chef Richard brought some steaks and we'll stay the night at a camp. Morning guys. So first we're gonna make our breakfast. Then we'll make our seafood platter. Look at the uni moving. And you can see they're spawning. See that coming out? Mm. And look at the white one right here. The male. Male, female. So after we harvested everything yesterday, we went back to camp and we had a nice steak dinner with some potatoes and mushrooms. Ooh, delicious. And we just had a couple of beers for the night and we went to bed. The whole night it was raining. So we had a lot of rain last night, but this morning it's cleared up. Just a few clouds in the sky and it's really beautiful. And we kept all the shellfish in ice overnight. So everything's still fresh, they're still moving. Now we're gonna prep everything up, cook them and make one awesome seafood platter. We're gonna steam all the mussels first. Uh, the mussels, we have some snails as well and we're gonna do a little more than half of the clams steamed i just put the mussels in crab is going in too clams going in as well we're gonna shuck those ones and have them raw boom cover it up while that's steaming chef richard is going to work on shucking the clams and similar to an oyster we're just going to take the top shell off and make sure the meat is detached from the bottom shell as well while he's shucking, I'm gonna work on a couple sauces. So I have half a shallot here, and I'm just gonna dice that up. I'm also gonna dice up a third of this serrano pepper. Then I'm gonna squeeze the juice from one whole lemon. Then just add a little salt and pepper. Finish it with about a tablespoon of olive oil. And that's sauce number one. Good. And for my next sauce, I'm gonna start with some fresh ginger slice that up very thinly and dice it up nice and fine this is my camping knife by the way and since we have another half shallot left we're going to dice that up as well add about four tablespoons of soy sauce then we're going to finish it off with a squeeze of lime that's it two simple sauces very good and i want to mention something about the clams here so saltwater clams are edible raw just like oysters but freshwater clams Never eat them raw. I just wanted to mention that. Never eat freshwater clams raw. Let the fun begin. So we're gonna make this all look pretty. I'm just gonna crack them all first and then clean them out all together. Such delicate work. I know this is the hard way, but that's what, that's what we need to do in order to make it look the best. All right, now we're gonna plate. Hopefully we have enough ice. Do the raw clams on the outside and then the cooked ones on the inside.
We'll open up a little bit of it so we can put the crab. I'm gonna put the crab right here, right? Last layer. One, two, three. Oh, maybe we should put the bigger one inside, yeah. huh? Bam! That looks sick. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. All right, on the bottom, we got the mussels. And above that, we have the clams. We have the steam clams in the middle. And around it, these are actually raw clams. And I love raw clams, so I wanted to do it this way. We got a little bit of crab here, the one raw crab we caught. And on top, we have the sea urchin. All right. Dude, this looks amazing. This is pretty cool. Actually, we have those little snails too. If you guys enjoy this, do me a favor and please drop a like on the video. and. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe because I do stuff like this all the time. Here we go, guys. We're done. I have a, two sauces here. Lemon juice with olive oil, shallots, and serrano pepper. And a little salt and pepper. And this one we have, this is soy sauce base with uh, ginger and shallots. And I have my pickled kelp. If you saw that, uh, if you saw me make that last video or a couple videos ago. And these are called finger limes and just regular lemons on the side. And finger limes are really cool. They look like little caviar and you can squeeze it out. Look at this, look at that. Squeeze out like that. And it's very cool little citrus. And we're gonna use that to top off some of the shellfish here. So I wanna tell you guys how I came up with this idea. Um, I actually saw Chef Richard's post on Instagram and he was posting uh, something similar like this from his restaurant. What do you have? What do you guys put on there? We have mussels, oysters, crab, we have razor clams, we have live sea urchin, live, um, live lobster. Uh -huh. we, we all prepare it in-house. Ooh, yeah. So if you're interested, contact me through Instagram or through, my, through the website and I'll hook it up for you guys. He gets some fresh seafood at his restaurant. Uh, Monsieur Benjamin in San Francisco, he can make a platter like this for you. All right, so go check him out at the restaurant. I saw his post and I was, I was like, yo, can I borrow that? <laughs> <laughs> can I borrow the plateau? And I was like, and also, I was like, can you come help me? Because there's a lot of, a lot of prep to do. So um, that's why I got him to come out and help me make this uh, possible. Yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for Appreciate it. Out. Yeah. yeah. We got our beers, we got fresh seafood, got a beautiful view, beautiful day. Rain last night, but look at this, cleared up. All right, let's eat. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Ah. That's good. Let go. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Got lemon juice. You can do lemon juice, or I think I'm gonna go with the shallot. Um, yeah, I want to try your first one, the spicy one. Okay. There you go. We, we want some of this too. Thank you. All right. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's good, right? Your sauce is really good. Mm, thank you. Now I'm going to try my raw clams. Mm. Raw clams are so good. I think raw clams are better than uh, raw oysters. It's good actually. Really good. Mm -hmm. Really good. Ooh, can I get a raw one? Oh. A little, yeah. There you go. Mmm. Dude, that's so good. The finger limes, it's perfect with it. Yeah. Right? It has, it just gives it a nice little texture and then yeah. a little added acidity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree. I think I like this better than raw oyster. 
It is, right? Yeah. Well, raw oysters are good too, but raw clams, I think they're on another level. But yeah, you were saying raw oysters are better, right? I like raw oysters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How should I put on the toast? It's been chewy. Mm. I should have clams on the toast. Um, I was going to go uni on the toast, but you could do anything, really. Here. I'll have a little smidge of uni on uni? uni? Little uni toast. There you go. Yeah, I'll do a little uni toast, too. And a little, a little bit of this, too. It just tastes like I put butter on toast. <laughs> My pickles. I'll we'll put a pickle. Put a pickle on there. Wait, can I have a little onion so I can put a pickle? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yo, that's that's fire, dude. That's so good. No, that one's too. We need toast? Yeah, we need toast is really good. We need toast is I'll good. I think the best part of all this is, is all forage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All forage. The only thing is like the sauces and yeah. finger lime and lemon. Forage Harvest it, help. forage the kelp. <laughs> Uni on your toast and a steam clam. Yeah, and then what should I put for sauce? Lime. That was a good combination. You know what? It's actually a really good combo. Uh, uni and crab. Uni and crab is a really good combination. You know what I'm telling you, the the crab and uni combo, the uni just like coats the crab meat. Yeah. And it's so good you here, you gotta try that. with this one. That well, was good. Mm. So delicious. They are delicious, I love them. I wish you guys can come and help us eat this. <laughs> like I would literally offer it to anybody, but there's nobody else around here. <laughs> Everybody's driving past us. All right, well, we have a little bit more left to go. We got probably mussels mostly. Uh, uni is about done. Clams are pretty much done. Anyways, guys, if you like the video, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want something like this, uh, you guys call it Seafood Plateau? Uh, Grand Plateau. Grand Plateau, Grand Plateau at Monsieur Benjamin. If you go there, make sure to say what's up to Chef Richard. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace. Come on now. Come on now. Oh, it's still. I guess you'll be drinking a Modelo. See, we gotta clean up after these people. What are you? What are they drinking? Oh, great white. Oh, come on. Don't be littering that. Clean up. Keep it clean. Don't litter this beautiful place that we have. Alright guys, peace out. <laughs>